but we're not a MOOC. We're not a. We're not. We're not trying to meet the needs of the entire population of the world in a single course. We're trying to meet local needs, the needs of our students, the interests of our college, uh, within a course. We also, uh, because I'm in a field that has accreditation and answers to the uh, a state authorities with licensure for the teachers that we uh, come up with. We have a lot of constraints on what, what we need to provide to our students. That stuff is not available through an internet search. So it's a matter of constantly working through a course and creating moments, perhaps, or what we call course modules. So we might take a 15-week course and concentrate on in, in one semester maybe concentrate on one or two or three elements of that course that we can turn to, uh, into OER material uh, resource uh, for the students. So when, when you start working on this it becomes OER becomes a support for what exists and it takes a very long time to switch that around to where any kind of uh, official text material becomes the support for the course and eventually if you're lucky and if you stick with it the textbook goes away uh, but don't think it goes away overnight it, it takes a great deal of work my experiences of teaching the MOOC online and teaching the MOOC in class and that was actually uh, a very inspiring and very eye-opening what students can learn um, online only and how you can enrich those experiences with classes that are sort of flipped because we, we've done basically a flipped classroom, blended type of a learning in Fordham's experience. What I've learned as the most interesting, we assume that digital natives are very fluent with all the, all the tools and various Twitter, Facebooks, Digos and all these tools that we assume, oh, those are the gadgets that young people use. And we, the oldies, we don't know how to use. That's absolutely not true. So as far as uh, uh, comparing between face-to-face, -face, online at my local university, a, a flipped classroom at my local university, and a MOOC that's massively worldwide, I've done all of those. And my preference is for a MOOC or for a flipped classroom. I think that as far as when I'm with my students, that it's, it's quite empowering for them to see really good videos of me and where I've, I've actually been able to frame things and it's really very well done. Uh, and they can replay me as much as they can. They can't really do that. I mean, sure, they can ask questions in, but they can replay me so they can really get it down. But then when we meet face to face, they, we have active uh, learning sessions. So they don't know what I'm going to throw at them. And we have a lot of fun when we're doing that. So I, it seems to me that my students have done best in that format when I'm with face to face. So that uh, sort of bringing in the best of online with um, with my face-to-face. -face. 